my name is Karen Leakey and I am the Digital Services Librarian for the South Kingston Public Library. And this is Follow the Reader, a mini video series in which I interview a member of our community to share our thoughts on books, reading, and the library. Today I'm joined by Tim Murphy, the President of the Library Board of Trustees. How are you today, Tim? Well, just great, thank you. And for those who don't know, can you tell us a little bit about what the Library Board of Trustees does? Yes, uh, the Library Board of Trustees is charged by the, the uh, town charter with overseeing the operations of uh, the, the town's public libraries. Uh, we meet every month um, and we uh, review the, the uh, budget and the policies of the library and we work on special programs. Um, so it's a pretty uh, interesting group to be part of. Great, thank you so much for that. And let's jump right into our interview questions. What are you reading right now? Right now, I'm reading a book called uh, The Slave Ship, A Human History by Marcus Redeker. Great. Um, you can see it all right, but um, this is an amazingly researched book that tells the story of uh, the slave trade through the, the ship, uh, what the ships were like that sailed to Africa um, from uh, England and from America to uh, capture slaves and bring them to the new world. Uh, and it's amazingly researched and detailed, uh, and it gives you a real window into the uh, horrors of the slave, slave trade um, and the incredible economics that, uh, that, involved, that were involved there and how much money was made. Um, but some of the, the uh, details are just amazing. There, there were 12 million uh, Africans taken from Africa to the New World. Many of them died along the way on the on the ships. There's also a lot of information about Rhode Island, which, uh, as we know, was really a, a major player in this in the uh, slave trade. The first slave voyage from America was probably from Rhode Island in 1700, um, and many many Rhode Island families made their great fortunes from the, the slave trade. Um, and one of the, uh, one Rhode Islander from a famous family, the DeWolfs, um, was not only a slave ship captain, but became a U.S. Senator. Uh, so it just it tells you a lot about how this worked and how it involved so many, many people who um, profited from the slave trade and who suffered incredible uh, suffering. So it's a, it's a very interesting book. Yeah, it sounds like a very interesting read. <laughs> What has been the, your favorite thing you've read recently? Um, well, one book I read recently that stuck out is called The Girl with Seven Names. Um, and I'm not gonna pronounce her name right, but it's by Hyona C.O. Lee. Okay. Uh, it, it's a story of a, a woman who grew up in North Korea and then fled from North Korea. And the, uh, her amazing journey from North Korea through China, through other Asian countries, and eventually to a America with uh, incredible hardships and dangers along the way. And the seven names refer to the seven aliases that she had to take to make her way on this journey. And it reads like a, a thriller. I and mean, it's almost unbelievable, but it's a true story. And um, both of these books, by the way, I just happened, uh, I, I stopped at the Robert Hale Library and I just happened to see them on the shelves when I was looking for something else. So I wasn't really searching for them, but uh, they turned out to be really interesting books. Sometimes that's the best way to discover books. <laughs> yes, serendipity. Yeah, and that's a really interesting way to frame the story using the seven names. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, are you a bookmark user? Do you use an actual bookmark? Are you a found bookmark person? I'm a bit of both. Um, I, I have a lot of bookmarks. I lose a lot of bookmarks. I find some bookmarks when I borrow books from, from the library. Um, and right now I'm uh, using a, a card from a, a writer's series that was made as a bookmark. Uh, I'm sure I'll lose this. Uh, if I find one in a, in a new book from, that I borrow from the library. Yeah. And uh, do you have a favorite reading snack or drink? Um, not really. Uh, I don't tend to eat or drink when I'm reading. I, uh, you know, and that sometimes I'll have a little glass of wine, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, but mostly I just uh, like to read without any distractions. Great. 
And uh, what's your favorite place to read and why that place? Um, well, I have two places. I, you know, I have a, a uh, kind of a sitting room in our house where it's quiet and I'll read there sometimes, but I often, I read every night in bed for about an hour before yeah. I go to sleep, uh, which I think a lot of people do. Yes. <laughs> and what do you love about the library? Um, well, I've been a library lover since I was, you know, six years old, uh, uh, going to, I grew up in Connecticut, going to a library there. And then I worked at, uh, at a library when I was a teenager. Uh, and it was a great job being surrounded by books. Uh, and, and what I love about libraries is it's just, there are such um, wonderful safe sp spaces for people from all walks of life to come together and mingle and, um, and take out books for free. I mean, it's, it's just an astounding thing when you, when you take a step back and think about it. Um, and I think we're also so blessed in this community to have three beautiful buildings um, with such great histories. Each one of them has its own historical story and the architecture. And I'm always discovering new things when I go to each of the buildings. I'll see something that I didn't see before or will make me want to know more about the, the history of those buildings. Yeah. And do you have um, any specific memory of one of our libraries or a library that you've um, gone to that you'd like to share with us? Um, well, I guess I have two memories. One uh, back in my hometown of, of Waterbury, uh, Connecticut. Um, when I was young, there was a children's room there, but I kind of outgrew the children's room um, and I persuaded the uh, librarians there to allow me to take out books from the adults <laughs> section, uh, even though I was probably about 10 years old uh, and I was grateful to them for that. Um, the other memory I have is of the Kingston Library. So when I first moved to Rhode Island, um, probably 35, 40 years ago, uh, that was the first library that I went to um, and brought my children to, I have three sons. Uh, and in, in those days there were card catalogs that were completely you know, filled the first floor, but it was a, a wonderful place to bring them and introduce them to books and yeah. to the library. So that Kingston has a special place in my heart. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, that is all the questions I have for you today on Follow the Reader. Would you like to nominate our next reader? Hmm. <laughs> well, I know that several of the members of the Board of Trustees have uh, expressed interest, so I will nominate all of them. Okay, uh, that sounds great. I will take up that invitation. Okay, great. Thank you. So that's all for today. I'll follow the reader. Thank you, and see you next time. Thank you. Bye bye.